When creating files inside of your project, you'll want to think about organization and where to put these files. Files are usually organized into various different packages inside of your project. In the Project Explorer on the left-hand side, in the SRC directory, you can create a new package by going to New, Package, and then you can enter a package. So one common one that you see a lot used inside of example projects is com.example. And as we create com.example, we see we have kind of what looks like a new folder with a dot in it. And that signifies it as a package. And let's say we wanted to create another package inside of the example. We could say, we want to create another one. We could say com.example. And we see here that the directory already exists. And why does it say directory? We'll get to that in a second. Let's say we want to create a models package. We'll create a models package. And so we say com.example.models. And so it's kind of been prepended here. Now, as we see, these are dots and it kind of looks like a backwards domain name. And that's kind of what it is. Now, the interesting part about how these files are stored in the disk is if we look at them inside of our file explorer and I'm on a Mac, so I'm using Finder. You'll see we have models, then example, com. And if we go backwards, we basically are come up here to our caster Kotlin, our SRC folder, which kind of maps to this folder over here. We see our IO, our com, and see how we have io.caster package over here. So com, example, models, each one of the items that are separated between the separators, which are dots, periods, is actually a new folder. So let's say that for whatever reason, I wanted to create a file inside of the models project. What I would do is say file new, and inside of here I might want to create a person, a it's called a um, customer class and it's customer and notice how it automatically adds the value package at the top. And this is the package declaration that lets you know what package this file is in. So here, this is inside of the package com.example.models and I could have my class and maybe it would have, you know, a regular name and a string for a customer. And those are all kind of common things we might have here. And then we might have another, customer, we might have another value inside of there. And now let's go over here to our other file here. Let's say we have something else. And let's say we have in caster, we have something known as a video file. And that's a video class, we'll say class video, and it has a URL that's a string that's associated with that URL. And then inside of there, we have some other things. But maybe it also has some customers that have watched it. So we might have a function say, something like fun, and it would be, you know, customers who viewed this. And perhaps this goes to a database, right? And this database is going to return a list of customers of customers. Now what we're going to see is we have a list of customers and we see right here, IntelliJ has found based upon us typing and code completion that a customer class has been found. Now, if I hit tab, which I'm going to do, automatically what is, happens is something is imported. This import is basically saying, look, we want to use a customer from a different package. And we're going to use this from the com.example.models package. Now, of course, I could just, here I could just return just to get the compiler to be happy. I could return an empty list. So we are returning a customer. So what we are using is inside of this video class on the side, we're using something from a different package over here. Now we could also have additional packages. For example, I want to show you another trick and go over here. And let's say, for example, in models, we happen to come to the file system and type in here and we'll say util. Now, if we go back over here, look what happens. All of a sudden, IntelliJ recognizes we have another folder in there. Hey, there's actually some other stuff in here. And a lot of times people will actually create things in here that are perhaps, you know, view, ex you know, we call it model extension or something like that. They'll create some extensions files in here for, you know, anything that's going to be like an extension function or anything like that. And then create extensions. And this is where they'll have all of their extensions, etc., or so forth. And it looks like it was reading misnamed there. So we'll say extensions.kt, not a big deal. So we have multiple different packages inside of here. And so you can have multiple packages inside of your projects. Here we have a couple of them. You may import a different package from another library altogether. So if we're inside of our models here and we wanted to import something else from a different project, 
as long as we have imported inside of whatever build tool we're using, we can go ahead and reference that just as we had referenced it inside of our video file over here. Now, if for whatever reason you don't, you just create a file and we don't put it inside of a package. So let's we'll call this and say, I'm gonna call it a favorite, we'll call it a favorite class. Maybe you're gonna favorite something, say class favorite. And maybe it has a an ID that, that for whatever reason. This class is in this right here. It's in the SRC directory. It does not have at all. It does not have a package. So the default package has no name. So at this point, it's part of the default package of the application. And the default package of the application is, is nothing. There's no name for it. So here you're just kind of sitting at the top level of your application. This is not recommended to put files at the top level here. It's always good to have a place to put them inside of your application. So where should you put them? Maybe you don't have a, a good idea. A lot of times if you're just working with a sample app and you want some place to put them, I recommend just using com.example or org.example. And that puts them in kind of like an example namespace just so it gives you a little bit le a level of organization. Or maybe if you have your own website like I do, what I will do is I'll put them in my own package. And so you can see I have a caster one there, but I also have a, a Don Felker one. So I'll say Don Felker, which is my website. And I might say something like models. If it's something that has to do with models, if it has to do with, you know, IO, I might have to do with, you know, input output. If it has to do with, you know, I'm building some calculation stuff or, or math or anything like that, I might have it inside of there. Or if I'm gonna build some services, I have, you know, don, com .don Felker services. And now I have some packages in here. And if you notice, com now has real, realized, hey, well, we have a couple of packages inside of here uh, that also are from the same root TLD, uh, which is the com. So let me create a file here. And inside of here, we'll have something like, you know, a customer service. Maybe it does something special for customers, or let's just say it's a, a tweet service for, for whatever reason I'm connecting to Twitter. So there we go, a tweet service. And so this is just to illustrate that you can have multiple different packages inside of here. And the tweet service is inside of, you know, com .don services. The example over here, we have the models. We have models in here. And packages give you a way to organize your code into logical groupings. So a lot of times you'll see a lot of code that's related. Maybe it's with file L, IO together. Database code will be together. You'll see, uh, you know, services together. Uh, and various different projects will have it different ways. So it depends on the project you're working on. Some will be kind of grouped together by function. Some will be grouped together by feature, kind of depends on what it is. But packages allow you to group your various different pieces of your application and your classes into different locations. And again, if it's not part of a particular package and it's at the root level, perhaps just right here in the source directory, it's part of the default package, which has no name at all. And usually this isn't recommended when you're developing a real production application. And that's how you work with packages inside of Kotlin.